Hello friends, this is Colder and welcome back to Final Fantasy Record Keeper, where we are here in the for, continuing the first island of Volume 2, uh, heading into Final Fantasy X territory. A hooded woman appeared right in front of Dr. Mog and Sid. Right, so this is the hooded woman up, unveiled herself or just is around. Okay, there's no doubt about it. She's up to something. Uh, Tyro? But what does she want? Tyro. Huh? huh? Don't give me that. How many times do we have to call you? Uh, sorry, uh, he's lost in thought. He's He's got a lot on his mind. We're here, the door to the hero records. Uh, Dr. Moggin said found it for us earlier. I see, we got here quicker than I expected. What? We were walking for ages. I guess it felt like no time to Tyro. Looks like he was lost in thought. That hooded woman got you worried? The one sh that showed herself to Dr. Mog? Yeah, I think she set her plans in motion. Yeah, she's like, she's on her way. I don't know what she's doing, though. She's trying to mess with the records in some way. I mean, that seems to be their plan, but I don't know towards what end. Freedom? Like, are, are, do they feel like the records are tying them down in some way? She might show up again, then. I hope she doesn't catch us off guard like the hooded man at the Esper Caves. I mean, you're on your guard now. If she's hoping to spoil the hero records, she might try to interfere again. She'll have to go through this door to reach the, right, reach the records. We better step up our defenses. Agreed. We need to be even more cautious now. Okay, see you soon, soon. Gwen. What a pretty chocobo princess. Don't underestimate that hooded lot, Sid. They... Uh, Biggs, how many times do we have to hear that? Th hear that? Let's hope this is the last. Anyway, I appreciate the advice. Okay. Yeah, he's just, he's just being extra cautious, I guess. You can take care of things here, Dr. Mog. Koopo, don't worry, I'll hold the fort. I won't let them intrude on the hero records, Koopo. But if we fail to stop them here... Yeah, Biggs has got to feel guilty about that, but... I don't know, he's caught off guard. If that happens, we'll put an end to their meddling. We'll kill them. I already have blood on my hands. So much blood. Be careful, Koopo. We will. So last time we left off, I think, was Yuna dan Yuna's Dance of, of Sending. Forest? Oh no, do we have to do the butterfly game? We have to pass through here to reach Kilika Temple. Good to see you, Lulu. Lulu! Who are those two? They're with us. The name's Biggs. Oh god, don't get... Oh, don't... Biggs, leave Lulu alone. I can see it coming. Wedge. Yeah, there it is. I'm Yuna, and this is Kimari. What are you all doing here? We're waiting for Waka and the others. They should be here soon. See. What's up? Yuna's saying she wants you with us. Huh? I want to ask you to I want to ask you to be my guardian. Yuna, what? This is no time for jokes, yeah? He may be a blitzball whiz kid, but up against fiends, he's a newbie. It's uh, his voice acting really is so good that like I could just I see the character and I hear his voice so it's so clearly tied to that particular character. Despite everything else I heard that I know that voice actor from, whatever his name is. The Bender voice actor. I don't remember the guy's name. Not a guardian, then. I, I just want him nearby. What? Yeah, she wants, a, she wants him nearby. What? What do you mean? It's just that, well, I feel smarter compared to him. We're all going to the temple anyway. Oh, yeah, that's Lulu. We're all going to the temple anyway. Can't this wait till later? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. 
What are you apologizing for, Yuna? The Yuna has nothing to be sorry for, right, Titus? Don't ask me. I don't know what's going on. That isn't a thesis statement for Titus. My apologies. Hey, Wedge. I never knew she was that pretty. Huh? She's, she's like two feet away, dude. I said I never knew Yuna was that pretty. This again? I mean, like... I, again, I no, no blame. I'm right there with you, but like... Keep it, keep it a little bit in your pants. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be all the way in your pants. Just tuck it a little bit away. Uh, Biggs is up to his usual antics, huh, Tyro? Tyro. I guess Tyro is just still thinking about the... He's too busy thinking about the, um, the hooded figures to be... To be too in, fully invested in, in the big shenanigans. Uh, everything seems pretty chill, but there's a giant plant monster right here. Let's go say hello. Got a company halt. Oh wait, this is these are the paladin types or whatever they are. Been before us is Ochu, Lord of the Wood. We've had trouble with this one before. Remember, discretion is the better part of valor. Uh, I guess we're not facing Ochu, Lord of the Wood. I don't remember. Are they the Crusaders, not the Paladins? Crusader, yeah. Yes, sir. On our way, sir. We Crusaders are training for the upcoming operation. Call on us if you see any sin spawn. I don't think so. I think we've fought plenty of them before. We're, we're good to go. Oh, I'll bet fighting Lord Ochu is going to be the side battle that, the, that branches off of this. Yes, sir. On our, on our way, sir. Good day, Guardians. We have the option to go down. Many fiends have been sighted in areas attacked by sin. Please be careful on your journey. Trey, we're going to have one big joint attack on sin. Get the treasures. And where now? Where now, brown cow? Oh, up there. Is it a good idea to let that fiend roam free? Ah, this is the choice. Apparently, it's so ferocious, even the Crusaders can't wrangle it. Uh, no, we can't just ignore it. Yeah! Let's tell Yuna and the others and go hunt down the fiend. Yeah, just like for fun, I guess. Or no, to it's it's so ferocious to we're protecting others, I guess. <laughs> These stone steps have a history, you know. What's their history? Yep, Lord O'Holland trained here at his peak. Is that a... What's that statue? It's like a salamander type thing or just a cute little bearded dragon? <laughs> Wait, what? A race, huh? Think you can beat me? <laughs> Are they pranking him? I forgot. You guys line up too. You mean us? See anyone else here? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people. Oh, you mean the whole group. Okay. Uh, good point. You too, Tyro. Come on. He's not in the mood for races. Hey, Tyro. Uh, okay. Something wrong? You look a little uneasy. Oh, sorry about that. Let's see how you do, Tyro. All right. All right, yeah, he's 
join in the fun. He's joining in the reindeer games. Yuna, if you would. I guess Yuna's not allowed to join the fun. I guess she's not training as a guardian, right? She's just... Well, no, it was... Did they say... Wasn't Old Holland a summoner? Why can't Yuna join it? Lara? I'm There's a lot of just everyone saying each other's names, and I'm confused here. Ready. Now, Alara. Oh. I take it back. Yuna is the best, and the game knows she's the best. I almost forgot. My bad. Hey, hey! I thought they were just having her being, like, the starting gun girl, like, waving the flag so that everyone else could have fun. Huh? Hey! Titus, wait for us. Let's go, Tyro. Oh, look out. Is Ochu's not here, is it? Everyone, quick, sin spawn. Oh, right, right, right. It's a lot of us. We way outnumber the sin spawn. We got this easy. Sin spawn are really diverse in their stu in their design, aren't they? Juno tentacles since spawn Juno nullify magic. Okay, yeah, we just gotta take out the tentacles first. Like they almost, they look almost. Uh, what are what were the Magic the Gathering um, enemies that were like super ancient evil gods that had those weird geometric like smaller parts that separated from them? Forgot the name. They give me that feel though. Uh, yeah, let's quick hit you. Exhausting Poka. Chain Faraga. We're not entrusting anything right now. It's very, I mean, it's very directly, lo like, intentionally Lovecraftian, isn't it? What do you, oh, that's just damage. As long as it's not inflicting statuses on me, I honestly don't care. Yeah, we'll barrage and we will Yeah, just cure up because cure up because why not? And uh one more gigant swing. Uh let's just keep quick hitting. I, I don't use colarity abilities. I don't use I don't have a lot of like colarity specific characters. Like I have in my, like, non-records, non-record dungeon parties. I have, like, Kelger, but not a whole lot else. And so it's fun to use. And even Kelger, I don't use that often. I kind of wonder if there is, like, a... I don't know, if there's... Like, what the must-have... Interesting. I wonder kind of, like, what the must-have um, abilities are, what trees are underrated. Like, I've seen some guides for this game, but I'm not super familiar with, like, the meta. And so that sort of thing I do wonder about. Like, whether people think, oh, summoning is a never-use, never-touch summoning, it's super underpowered, or everyone should always be using sharpshooter or machinist like make sure you have a machinist in every party it's super overpowered i'm i'm really curious what that about that sort of stuff just sad that by the time i don't know that the game's going away oh well a little sad it's not that there's plenty to replace it but i am a little sad i came to this so late that was my fault Uh, anyway, let's finish off the boss. Yeesh. Sorry about that. I hope to break you in a little slower. Yeah, but he's proved himself now. Being a guardian's tiring. You handled yourself pretty well. You got talent. Nah. That, those, that single now was the most humble that Titus ever has been and may ever be. So what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. 
They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That's... I forgot about that last part. I just thought they were like little mini enemies, but... Hearing that Sin comes back for them, boy, that makes them even much scarier. The moment when Waka... That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle... I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian. All right, let's go the let's go knock out Lord Ochu. Lord Ochu conquest party. Here we go. Hashtag Ochu is over party. <laughs> I like how the two crusaders were like, "Nope, I'm out." Alright, how are we going to deal with this Lord Ochu? We are going to start off with... Is it weak to anything? Weak to fire. Good to know. Will Ruby shot you? Protect Ga. Armor Breakdown. Chain Faraga. Wrath. Poison Claw. Not too worried about Poison Claw for now. Uh, especially because we have Ultra Cure. Ruby Spark. And Wrath again. We'll see if it gives me any reason to be concerned about the poison. Like if it does any damage that's like a multiplier based on how many poison stacks you have, but... I'm not all that, not all that panicked for the moment. Um, I think, you know, let's give it to, does any of these, do any of these characters have fire limit breaks, soul breaks? I don't remember, so let's go with Wrath for the moment until we know for sure. March of the Moogles. It's, that's just, I think, ice attack. Ice, uh, ice damage. Abe's All-Star. Hmm. The, this is a fine time for some AoE heals. Uh, I don't know how long Armor Breakdown lasts. Maybe it lasts forever. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, Keeper's Tome is like if we want to... You know what? Well... Nah, screw it. Let's just entrust to Lulu, say. Uh, Lulu, you can wait. And now we'll march of the Moogles. And Abe's All-Star. Yeah, so just ascending a lot of moves, it was probably better to just use their fire attack. It was probably not even worth it to use the soul break. Yeah, same thing with this. It's probably better to just ruby shot. Or ruby spark. Uh, ah, screw it. We'll just ruby spark again. March of the Moogles, uh, it's really not worth it. Let's just chain Faraga. Uh, dual Buster. I have not learned my lesson. Let's use that. I was going to say, should I just do the fire thing? No, we're going to... This is cooler. Sure, in trust. And let's volley shot because it might look awesome. It did look awesome. It was worth it. And, yeah, not gonna march to the Moogles again. With your defense, let's just Ruby Spark at this point. 
Just Ruby Spark. Just Ruby Spark. Wow. Yeah, I gotta be pretty impressed. Amazing, that's what you get from messing with a summoner and her guardian. You'll have to step up your game, Luzu. Forgot about those two. My game's just fine. Young Crusaders, gather round. We'll beat Sin into the ground and turn the head of that fair maiden. Was there a second part to the rhyme and turn the head of that fair maiden? I... I lightning shock her like she's Raiden? I... I feel like there's a second part of the rhyme that was missing. So, uh, they got fiends and Xanakin, too? Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Were there fiends before... Really? There were fiends before, uh... Before Sin attacked? Hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? A very creative theory. Amazing. Simply amazing. I don't think she's amazed at your intellect. Huh? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. That's right, this is... Ah, oh, I almost forgot. This is... Lulu's trying to give him just to make sure that he doesn't get lost in the fantasy. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. Lulu is just like... She's like Dr. Phil, but good. It's pointless to think about it, and sad. She's just, just harsh doses of reality. Hey, I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. And Waka is such a good pair for her because he doesn't get, like, overly... I don't know. He's not... It kind of bounces off him. Like, he takes it in the spirit it's intended when it's it would be easy to see it as, like, really off-putting. The stuff happens, huh? Best not to worry, he says, but it's hard not to. Yeah, I mean, we're, the, they don't have sin hanging over their heads, but they have their own trouble that's kind of just looming in the background. I wonder what happened. Waka Lulu and Waka's brother Chapu. I don't know the details, but it's complicated between them. I'm no good with stuff like that. What was that? What's that meme? Head empty? Something thoughts? I understand. But you can't avoid it, can you? Huh? Oh, I thought that was... I assumed that was Tyro's... Uh, that was Titus's thought. That's the hooded woman, in this case? You! And she got past... Uh, she got past Dr. Mog. Dr. Mog's got some game. She showed up. And what's this thing? Oh shit, she's got the, she's got the, uh, that plant thing from 13, I think, and the Adamant toys from 2, or the, the turtle from 2. Uh-oh. The creature that doesn't exist in this world? That's right. We better do something or it'll taint the record. God, not again. What's going on? Yep, yeah, this is, you haven't... Your brain, I don't think, can take any more of this, Titus. Now leave this to us. Titus, go to Yuna. You should stay at Yuna's side, Titus. And don't get in over your heads. We won't. 
Okay, so... <clears throat> I think the plant thing is from 13, but I could definitely be wrong on that. It's the Adamant Toys or the Iron Turtle or whatever it is. I'm, I'm certain it's from 2. Plant Brain. Maybe Plant Brain for something else. Okay, we're going to Protect Ga. I think we want to use Fire on the Plant and Ice on the Turtle. Let's see if that pans out. We'll start with Enfeebling Jitterbug, though. And we'll go for the... I don't want to use... Yeah, so fire on the plant, definitely. I don't want to use physical on the uh, turtle unless I absolutely have to. Okay, we got swatted. Not too worried there. Yeah, let's keep on soul burning. And now let's Blizzaga on the turtle. Get a second stack of heavy swing... Of heavy with gigant swing. Plant Brain sprays Mr. Powered up Land Turtle. Uh, is there a way to counter this? When it's strengthened, use... Where's the Mysterious Dust to temporarily strengthen the turtle? It says that a low a enfeebling jitterbug can counter it. So I wonder if when it says it... When it says Mysterious Dust temporarily strengthens it, whether that it raises its attack and magic. That might make sense. Okay, so that's what we'll do. But first we will do this. Yeah, keep on firing the, the thing that's weak to fire. And now we'll enfeebling Jitterbug again. Wait, I've been doing it the reverse way. I should have been Grand Charging. Grand Charging, I, it's just, yeah, I, that was my mistake. Grand Charge is the thing that grants me stacks of heavy. All right, will the red go away? It won't, but hopefully it helps counter it. Uh, Soul Burn again. We don't need Magical Pious yet. And now we can Enfeebling Jitterbug you. And actually build up our second stack of heavy. It's not weak to ice. Interesting. I was sure it'd be weak to ice. Your effects on Land Turtle weighs off? Wears off? My effect. Really? Did they mean... I think they meant the Plant Brain's effect because the red smoke went away. Did they? Maybe they said that and I just missed it. Uh, yeah, now we'll just go ham on you. Yeah, so it was weak to ice. I must have just misread that ability. Okay. Impressive. Would you mind indulging me a while longer? Is that Hooded Man? Ah. It's him. Yeah, it's the Hooded Man. So we got the Hooded Pair here. Get any ideas? I have no business with you. So you're here for me, then? Are they not together? No, they have to be together. This is no time to play games. I'm not sure what's going on. Hm. Fine, I'll leave. Happy now? They're gone. I don't know what their deal is. I'm definitely interested, though. They got away. Where's Dr. Mog? Hey, Tyro. I'm worried about Dr. Mog, Soon, and Sid. Yeah, if the hooded man and woman came here, it must mean... Anyway, fingers crossed they're okay. Hey! Yeah, I... The fa it doesn't worry me as much that they came in here. It's that they came in here and... Dr. Mog didn't immediately come in their wake. Like, it makes me think something's happening out there. Titus. Huh? What happened to the fiend? Uh, about that. It, uh... Don't tell me you took it down by yourselves. Yeah, we're pretty great. Uh, well... Did you guys come back to check on us? Of course. 
and I heard some fiend got the jump on you, I was worried. Anyway, glad you're all okay. I'm glad we're okay, too. Thanks. Well, let's get going. Right. So, oh, gosh, that's got to be so frustrating for the team, for the record keeper team, because they must really want to just get back to the main world, but they're not done clearing the records yet. Ah, I look at Temple now. Dixon, you here to pray to Lord O'Holland for victory, too? Oh, this is the tournament. Us pray. Oh, no, this is the this is the lead up to the tournament, I guess. Who needs to pray? The Luka Goers always win. Yeah, they were a tough matchup. By tough, I mean tough anytime you don't have the jack shot. Because once you have the jack shot, nothing is tough. Uh, oh yeah? Then why are you here? Grav. We've been praying for some competition this year. They're such, they're such Disney villains. They're like the Icelandic team in, uh, in the... Um, in the Mighty Ducks 2. I think it was Mighty Ducks 2. That's where they... Yeah, Mighty Ducks 2 was where they fought Iceland. Mighty Ducks 3 was they went to college. Uh, so, what's your goal this time? You're going to do your best again? Ah, huh, it's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. Oh, my good lord. See you in the finals. Yeah, there's like there's like four teams, right? Maybe there's more. That guy's got some nerve. Let him bluster all he wants. But come on, let's go. I think they're everyone who plays Blitzball and doesn't die within the first 20 seconds is a superhero, in my opinion. We'll beat them. We have to. You know that team? Putting people down, they're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jack was a kind and gentle man. A weird image that is of Sir Jack as kind and gentle. Well, not my Jack. Even ten years after he left, just thinking about my old man got me angry, but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. Jack legitimately... I might be mistaken, but he sounded like he... I seem to remember him being, like, legit a dick. Like, not... Not just, like, a tough love. He gives a little ribbing or so often. I seem to remember him being legitimately a bad, bad father, but I... I wonder. Oh, Lord O'Holland, guide our feet... We should pray too, Wedge. Uh, pray for what? Is it blasphemous to pray to a god you don't believe in or to pray to a protector or guardian that you don't believe in? For the Poseidon Oryx to win, you numbskull. No, it's probably just respectful. I think there's there's probably very little downside. Lord O'Holland? God, it's these two. Donna and uh, her, her, her uh, boy toy. What, I forgot his name. Bill or something. Brock? Beluga? I, I, gosh, his name is escaping me. Donna and someone. A summoner, are you? My name is Yuna from the Isle of Besaid. Donna. So you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? My, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. Whatever were you thinking. I have need of only one garden, guardian, right? Bartel Bartello, right. I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. Oh, this is... I trust them all with my life. Yuna is... Yuna is the perfect perfect comeback. Truth. Truth and kindness and 
Yeah. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being with my father's daughter. Yuna's great. Yuna... Yuna's fantastic. I love Yuna. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want. Bartello, we're leaving. Brr. Ooh. That was amazing, Yuna. Yeah, she just did the, the most, like... It wasn't passive-aggressive. It was, like, roasting her with truth and politeness. Guardian, a guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? You were part of the trust tree. You were, she wanted you to be a, guard, a guard, gardener. She wanted you to be a guardian, and she uh, said she only wants uh, people she trusts to be her guardians. So regardless of whether you are or not, that's... That way you, you met, you know, she wanted you to be it, so you count. What are you laughing about? All right, then keep your secrets. Is that an image? Is that meant to be a, a, a like a pictogram? That uh, center, it almost looks like someone doing like one of those like sure you can. No, not sure you can. Yeah, like one of those sure you can things like with their hands out. Faith is below. The faith? But first, the cloister of trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. Nope, not you, Titus. Titus, we should... Oh, you got... Cat, cat just knocked you off the ledge. Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. We'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Is this going to take a whole day again? What, a whole day? Do we have to wait here all that time, Tyro? Yeah, I guess so. And no smartphones in the world of Final Fantasy X. Probably Final Fantasy XV, but not X. Or no, not XV, XIII. They're back. Wait, what? wonder how they work this. I doubt any of us could make it budge. Oh, right. We're going to get pushed on. Because Dona... Okay. Yep. Where's Yuna? She went down below. Then why are you here? We're not guardians, so we're not supposed to go in, right? Not guardians, you say? Hey, wait! Let me go! Now, this feels like active blasphemy. Not by Titus, but by Donna and Bartello. Hold it! Let go of him! Give this to Bartello. He's got some strength. I'm just gonna yeet them all onto the elevator. Ow! Hey, let me go! Just a little game. Huh? Huh. The Titus story. This is really bad. This is bad. Yeah, but you now at this time, you have like a lot of people to vouch for you that you didn't come here intentionally. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was Dona and that big muscle head man. You know we'll be the one to suffer the consequences. Sorry. Again, not your fault. Totally Donna's fault. Me too. Nope, nothing to apologize for. Zero to apologize for. What consequences? You could be excommunicated. My bad. It's not your bad. It's literally 0% your bad. Really sorry. Stop apologizing. It's not your fault. Just wait. 
to what's in there anyway. The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. Faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls willingly from their still living bodies. Huh? Now they live forever, trapped in statues. A horrifying existence. Presumably their senses are different. Presumably, like, they don't experience time the same way as someone in a body does. That's what I like to tell myself to stop the horror of just imagining someone rewarded for their faith with and her heroism with um, solitary confinement, essentially. But when the summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? Just praying, communicating? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkand were connected somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly I felt like... I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. What was it, the song uh, back in Xanarkand? Was it a, um... Just like a folk song or something like that? I don't know. Because I don't think there was religion in Xanarkand. At least nothing major, nothing the way that it dominates this world. I thought I'd put my feelings for Xanarkand behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me, bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud and just... Ah! Titus is char... Big's, Big's got literally knocked down. Titus is charming in a way that, like, squalling cloud or not. He's just... And even in a way that... Because Zidane is, is, like, upbeat and suave. Titus is just... What you see is what you get for the most part. And while that's not as good a character as Yuna, it's certainly endearing. For me, it can be it can be it can be obnoxious, but it can also be super endearing. Off to Luca at last. Hi, Pigeon. Sorry, cat visit. The magic. Ever since I got this brace, he's just been interested in it. Matches are uh, start as soon as we get there, so rest up on the way, yeah? A cool ship. Almost looks like a... Is it a slow boat? Those, uh... I don't know the name of those. The, um... Boats I, of I often see in, uh, depicted in, like, East and Southeast Asia. Hmm. There you are, Alara. Just the, that fan structure on top, I mean. Tyra, where are Biggs and Wedge? I think they're with the Besaid Aurochs. What are you all talking about? Vixen, who are you supposed to be? Brav. Oh, I remember him. Guy from Killica. Right, these are the goers. Hmm? You know, one of those Besaid Aurochs. Said something about winning the cup. Oh, right. You're that idiot. Don't call him that. But he is an idiot. They don't got what it takes to win the cup. 
You've never, you've literally never seen him play. Well, they, they do now that I'm here. Yes, they will win. He used to be the star player of the Xanark and Dabes. Ha! Ah, someone's been telling tall tales. Yeah, as if anyone lived in those ruins. It's not ruins. There's a big city there. There is. I, I, I got too close to sin and... There is a city, really. Ah. Bless Yuna. Bless her so much. Right, whatever your ladyship says. I think that's what... It, I think that's what I like about Titus most, is what he brings out in Yuna. That kind of energetic, silly side of her. That, like, almost like child... More childlike. That, that sort of... That level of sincerity and sometimes... What's wrong? You seem kind of mad back there. They were being rude, and... I do believe your Xanarkand exists. I really do, you know? How come? Sir Jack used to always tell me stories. It'd be great to see your home soon, soon, someday. I'd love to go there. Yeah. Ma! So Yuna, want to come over to my place? Wait, what? What was that? Is that him? Oh yeah, it's him like... Right, sure, as if I had a place to show her. Well, say something. You'll take responsibility? Relax, he's bound to know someone in Luca. And if not, he could always join a Blitz team. Yeah, any, would, any team would be happy to have him. Anyway, it's better than just leaving him, leaving him in Besaid. What? Just leaving him in Luca? It is better than leaving him in Besaid, I think. It's more opportunity. What do you want me to do? You know wants to make him a guardian. Oh yeah, jeez. There's that too, eh? And whose fault is that? Not mine. It is mine. <laughs> it really is. Why do you think she wants to make him a guardian anyways? Because he's Sir Jack's son. I don't think it's just that. I... I don't think Titus has... I think Titus is, like, endearing, and again, he's, he's sweet and he's genuine. I... I it's not just that he's Sir Jack's son. And he's a dang good fighter, too. Oh, right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son? Hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. 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 That's all you have to say. I'm doing my angry Yuna voice. Well, yeah, I mean... He's got to decide for himself, yeah? Well, him and Yuna, I guess. You're right for once. <clears throat> I wonder which is best. Why don't you tell him he should? What? Become Yuna's guardian. Why me? You're like best bros. Because Yuna can't. You sure? Why can't Yuna? He hates his father. What he was, what he did, what he did. Do you really think she can possibly say to him, I want you to be my guardian like your father was to mine? That's fairly insightful. That's true. Aren't you being oversensitive? I actually think she might be being a bit oversensitive. I think Titus would still be okay with... would still want to be the guardian in this case, even if... even with that parallel. All right, all right. I'll try talking to him after the tournament. Be discreet. I know, it's hard as his decision. He doesn't like his father? Apparently, he told you as much. Hating your own father, huh? Sounds like a luxury to me. I don't even remember my parents. Can't say how I feel about him.
I don't know if it's a luxury. I... I think it's just... Between having a parent that is harmful versus having no parent, I don't think there's a clear, like, winner of what's easier or what's harder. I just think they're... I mean, they're... They're different problems and they're different challenges and each can be, each could be harder or easier than the other, depending on the circumstances. I don't think one is by nature a luxury or over the other. I, I was five then, so I remember mine a little. Damn it. Sin just takes everything away from us. Yeah, he does. Seems like something's bothering Titus. It's probably to do with what Waka and Lulu were talking about earlier. Yeah, he overheard all of it. About his father? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? Hey, right, because I think I remember um, Almeron at one point bringing up, uh, we just went talking about this, that that these memories are of Jekt through the eyes of a kid who really hated him. And not necessarily like a, a fact, factual, like, this isn't like a video, objective video recording of what happened. So it's hard to say how much of this is being tinted. I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No one else can do it. I'm the best. I'm the best. No one else can do it. You're out of your league. Can't do it, kid. Didn't I get this in, um, like, when I first came to, uh, Besaid? swear that that's when I learned the jack shot. Maybe it came later. Best? Yeah, right. Huh? Whoa, what's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. That's something I actively love about Titus. No shade. Just that he could have tried to take his father's place and been like, no, I'm the best. Like, that would be... Wouldn't have been good, but it would have been understandable. It'd be like, no, this is the Titus shot. But no, he's like giving that... He's, he's breaking the cycle here. Anyone can do it. No way. No need to be modest, Titus. Show us one more time, yeah? I really thought this came earlier, but I, again, I could definitely be wrong. I probably am wrong, actually, the more I think about it. I want to see it again. Go ahead, Titus. They're all practicing down there. That was the jack shot, wasn't it? How do you know that? Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jack Shot Mark III. Stupid name, huh? It's a pretty bad name. You know what? There is no Mark I or II. You know what? There is no Mark I or II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and II. And they really did come back. He was a showman. He's a, he's a good and a professional athlete. He used to get so mad. Is he alive, you think? Unfortunately. For him. And for everyone. I don't know. But Sir Jack was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too. It's got to piss Titus off so much. 
so if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Is that so? What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Yeah. I'd probably just smack him one. Smack him a lot in that final boss fight. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. That's right, they do have that in common. Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Yes. Very different sort of fame, but very different, but very similar. In in that, it just being the children of children of fame of famous people, ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Yeah, but the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. He does have the right. I guess you do. Ow. Show me that move again. <laughs> Yo. I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. Drinking game. Shot every time he says old man. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was going to happen, and these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play anymore. So let's see what's been happening on the outside now that we're back. Oh, this is the ruins, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like we're back. Tyra, over here, it's Dr. Mog and Sid. Are they, like, knocked out? Tyro? Dr. Mog, you're okay. Oh, he's okay. How are the others? They're all fine. How do you feel? Are you all right? Oh, I thought he was talking to, to Tyro. I'll survive, Koopo. Good to see you're safe and sound, Sid. I only just woke up myself. When I came to, they were all here. So it sounds like they were put to sleep and not knocked out. Maybe they were knocked out. I don't know. Like, maybe they were punched out as opposed to just sleep magic. We found you two lying on the ground and Alara used her white magic. Alara. Thank you, Koopo. Soon deserves all the credit. It's thanks to her we found you both so quickly. Sounds like she stood watch over you the whole time until we got back. Soon you have my thanks, Koopo. Gwen. So what happened here? The hooded woman showed up, as expected. I remember that much. To be honest, I'm not sure what happened either, Koopo. I suddenly began to feel faint, and the next thing I knew, Koopo, you and the others were standing around me. So they clearly could have harmed they clearly could have harmed Dr. Moggin said and they didn't. Those guys are pretty tough customers. Not the sort of foe one of us one or two of us can take on. Did you run into them, Koopo? In the record realm, I mean. Yeah, we did. They just kind of pieced out. I mean, they s sent their enemies out. They sent a couple of mini-bosses after us, but that was it. What were you thinking? Oh, please, you know why I was there. You committed a serious infraction. An infraction? Well, that goes with the territory when you're altering history. Yeah, but an infraction against who? Did they have their own, like, code of conduct? There was no need. You're one to talk. You unleashed that creature from another record in the Esper Caves, didn't you? So they're not just trying to be chaotic willy-nilly. They have some end in mind. I'm just as responsible for all this as you are. And just as guilty. Hmm. Where do you think you're going? Don't you know? Excuse me. And you're going alone? Bah, you're a real piece of work. Kind of you to worry. Do they have a thing going on? It's not like that. 
Maybe it is like that. That chill was, was maybe that was like it's not like you not like uh not like that, Baka. Is she being Sundari? I don't know. We'll find out next time when we head into Mount Hob for Final Fantasy IV. Finish off the island. Ooh, got a big session next time. Uh yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh if you did, like, leave a comment, let me know. Uh and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.